Hello to you and welcome to the first Fibonacci lesson. We shall start this lesson with a slightly intriguing and interesting example. In case some of you still haven't heard about Fibonacci, I'm sure you have heard about the mystical symbol, the pentagram. The pentagram is thought to be the oldest symbol on the planet. In the Babylonian culture, it was the symbol of gods. The Japanese believed it had magical powers. In the Chinese culture, it symbolized the five elements of life. In Christian cultures, it was the symbol of five wounds of Jesus Christ. Later, they assigned a specific ancient element to each of its five arms. Earth, water, air, fire and spirit on the highest arm. Almost all secret societies, among which the Freemasons are the most widely known, use the pentagram as one of their symbols. This symbol is also often used on a dark side of religion. In this case, the pentagram is inverted and many consider it as a symbol of evil. You've probably seen the inverted pentagram before with a goat's head in the middle. Okay, but I don't want to further elaborate on this subject. Of course, if you are curious about these things, you can find many interesting videos on the internet. What I would like to talk about is the mathematical basis of the pentagram and its similarities to the Fibonacci ratios. So let's look at that. In the structure of the pentagram, there are five intersected lines. Pay attention to the first line. We do not know its length, but it's not important, so we shall mark the beginning of the line as zero and the end of it as one. Now we shall add two more lines. Pay attention to the first intersection. Regardless of the length of the line, the first intersection, as the other ones, will be at exactly 0.382 or 38.2% of the length of the total distance. The second intersection will occur exactly at 0.618 or 61.8% of the total length of the line. The distance between these two ratios is 0.236 or you can say it will always be 23.6 of the total length of the line. The square root of the number 0.618 is 0.786, the reciprocal of 0.618 is 1.618 and this number represents the golden ratio. The square root of 1.618 is 1.27. Now, please open your web browser, I use Chrome, and type in www.tradingview.com. Okay, this is one of the best online platforms in the world. Type any currency pair in the search box, for example, uh, Euro Dollar, and then click uh, on the chart. Okay, move the chart on the side, it's not important to us at the moment. Click on the little arrow beside the symbol, which looks like a dunk fork, and select Fibonacci retracement from the list. Now, somewhere in the middle of this chart, click on empty part of it. Move the Fibonacci upwards and after that click on the chart again. The displayed numbers represent Fibonacci ratios. Let's see if there are any similarities here with the numbers we have derived from the mystical symbol of pentagram. Okay, the numbers are almost identical except from one that is missing on the left side. The number 0.500 or 50%. A lot of traders actually do not know that this number is not a Fibonacci number. Instead, it was added by other traders because it's in the middle of the observed price movement. Thus, as a matter of fact, Fibonacci numbers are identical to the numbers derived from the pentagram. So perhaps there is something mystical in this tool as well. Okay, everyone, in the next lesson we shall be talking about Leonardo Fibonacci, Fibonacci sequences and the golden ratio which represents the divine proportion. See you!